African elephants, like their Asian elephant relatives, are critical to the well-being of their savanna and forest habitats. Historically, elephants numbered in the millions, and interactions with people were relatively rare until agriculture became integrated into our story. As human populations have burgeoned, habitats for elephants has been reduced and fragmented. People have moved beyond hunting elephants as a food item and pursued them for their ivory and in retaliation for raiding their crops and food stores. Today, less than half a million African elephants exist. Hello, my name is Julia Morgan and I'm here to introduce you to an extraordinary project that is addressing crop raiding by elephants and the plight of African farmers in Kenya. In 2019, the research funded by the International Elephant Foundation was entitled Elephant Deterrence, Behavioural Response and the Ecological Correlates of Crop Raiding. This study is part of a larger project of elephants and sustainable agriculture in Kenya which the International Elephants Foundation and the Earthwatch Institute have been helping to fund since 2017. I was a citizen scientist volunteer on this project in 2019, and that's me with the field scientists. Hello, I'm Lynn Von Hagen. I completed my Master of Science degree at Western Kentucky University under the direction of Dr. Bruce Schulte. I'm now a doctoral candidate at Auburn University, continuing to work on human-elephant conflict in Kenya. For these IEF and Earthwatch projects, the primary investigators, Drs. Bruce Schulte, Mwangi Gathiru, and Urbanus Mwiwa, have joined forces to facilitate means for people and elephants to coexist in this challenging environment. Kenya holds some 35,000 elephants, with more than a third in the greater Savo ecosystem where this research occurs. Elephants are confined by fences near large cities, but in rural areas roam freely. However, these wild spaces often do not provide enough food or water for elephants, and especially during the dry season, elephants infiltrate human landscapes. Elephants will raid the fields of farmers, consuming their crops such as maize, peas, and lentils. The impact is devastating. Kenyan farmers cultivate small plots of land near their homes. Because of the variable wet and dry seasons, many animals move from place to place to find food and water. Farmers also need to cope with a changing climate exacerbated by global warming. This project assists farmers in their agricultural practices by introducing them to climate-smart agricultural techniques such as water and nutrient-retaining cultivation. Elephants raid crops before, during, and after the crops mature and have been harvested. We do not understand the specific drivers of the foraging decisions by elephants, so we're investigating ecological indicators that point to an increased likelihood of crop raiding. As part of this process, we collect data on the presence of wildlife and the extent to which elephants are foraging on trees in the neighboring protected area. The volunteer citizen scientists who assist us are vital to the project's success, helping us collect ecological data, construct fences, and interact with local people, including school children. This has led to a powerful synergy. Several volunteers have continued to support the needs of the school children through the donation of school supplies and funds used for providing food and a stable water supply. The success of our research has motivated an expansion. In 2019, with assistance from local chiefs, I extended connections to nearby villages. I'll be examining the attitudes of local people towards elephants and other wildlife and the livelihood of farming. In addition, we plan to study how a mosaic of deterrence across the landscape influence crop yields and elephant behavior. We have been fortunate to have several early successes. Our most successful deterrent to date was designed by one of our team members, Mr. Simon Casaine. This metal strip fence can be used along the border to crops and wild spaces or used to encircle a crop field to thwart elephants from entering. The first attempts at Climate Smart Agriculture have also been successful and farmers are interested in expanding these efforts. We are accumulating data to examine ecological correlates to crop rating, and we have identified Eland as a crop rater that could significantly impact crop yields. People and partnerships are important. Our interactions with farmers, school administrators, and children lay the groundwork necessary to evoke a change in attitudes from viewing elephants as a problem to an important component of the ecosystem. Our research on human-elephant conflict in this area is only possible because of the permanent presence of wildlife works and the many forms of outreach they conduct regionally. The Earthwatch citizen scientists have been amazing contributors to our project, and they've rated their experiences and our work as highly valuable to themselves and to overall conservation. 
The support of the International Elephant Foundation has been invaluable in the development and continuation of our research on elephant conservation and the reduction of human-elephant conflict. Studies on the interaction between humans and elephants are occurring throughout Africa and Asia where people and elephants cohabitate. This body of work seeks to find ways to maintain viable elephant populations, healthy ecosystems, and the means for elephants and people to peacefully coexist. If you would like to support this vital work, please visit one of the sites listed here. Thank you.